Hey game designers, in this video we're going to go ahead and teach you guys how to um, use the on enter, uh, on event trigger on enter. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and download Peter. We're just going to right click, open a new tab. We're going to click the download button to download Peter. Then we need to download the my event trigger on enter, which is inside your Unity's folder. Let's go ahead and open that. You'll see it right here, how to use my event uh, trigger or this is actually the uh, the uh, the notes for it. Let's go ahead and go to the actual um, copy right here. Let's go ahead and download that. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Unity and let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and import Peter. Um, I'm in the my, my Assets, My Character Sprite folder. I'm gonna right click and import new asset. I'm gonna go ahead and import the download for Peter here. Okay, and let's go ahead and drag Peter to the scene. Okay, and once you drag him into the scene, he has automatically put a sprite render. I'm gonna go ahead and create an animation for him. I'm gonna hit create. And I'm just gonna say Peter Patrol. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some keyframes here. I'm gonna turn on recording. Okay. And I'm going to add some properties. I'm going to add a regular position here so that he's standing still. And if you hit play, he just goes from one end to the other. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him go to about 0.29 here. And I'm going to have him kind of turn around. Okay. So nothing should be happening now. He's just moving or standing still. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this keyframe here. And I'm going to go ahead and move him. Okay. And when I move him here, I'm going to make sure that all the keyframes are recorded. Okay, that looks good. So now he should walk kind of back and forth. Okay. Now, about one tick later, I'm going to have him kind of turn around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Property here. And I'm going to go to Transform scale, and I'm going to add a negative one scale here. Okay. <clears throat> so this frame is recorded, and I'm going to actually click on add keyframe here. So it adds all the keyframes. Um, let's go actually go back to this keyframe. And it looks like this one's not added properly. Let's go ahead and change this back to one. And I'm going to click on add keyframe here. So now, um, this should be the first frame. He should walk across. He should turn around. And then he should go back. But you can see here on his way back, he flips because we need to actually make him walk uh, without flipping. So I'm going to go back to the very last keyframe over here. Um, and I'm going to add a keyframe. So I'm going to take this position right here. Um, if you go to this keyframe right here, you can actually use the triple dot right here and copy his position. Okay. And at 0.29, right here, I'm going to add a keyframe right here. And I'm going to paste my position. So this is where he's at. Okay, but this time, I'm going to go ahead and go here and flip him back. So he should be going from over here. Goes over here, flips back, and comes over here. So on this keyframe... I'm going to change it to negative one. Sorry, negative one. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter. Make sure the keyframe is added. So he goes over here, turns around, goes back, and then turns around. So let's go ahead and hit play and see him kind of do this animation. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and highlight everything and extend this out for more than one second. Let's go ahead and extend it up to five seconds here. Okay, looks good. He even looks like he's turning around, even though uh, it's just a, an animation blip. But looks pretty good. So now that we have the animation working and we have Peter Patrol, okay, I'm going to teach you guys how to control his movement. So we're going to have Peter standing still, and then we're going to activate this animator. So um, actually, we're going to go ahead and add another animation here. 
We're just going to add uh, a default state where he does nothing. So when I click on this animator right here, and Peter Patrol is this animation here, we're going to right click and create a new state, an empty state. And we're going to right click, set it as the default state, and we're just going to rename it to do nothing. Okay, or idle. Okay, and then we're going to right click to here and then make a transition to here. And we're going to right click here and make a transition to here. So basically, when the game starts, he's going to go to the idle mode. And then at some point, he's going to patrol it and it's going to come back. Now, to control, rather, he goes from idle to patrol, we're going to click on the transition and we're going to create a parameter. So I'm going to create a parameter here. Um, I'm going to, on this tab, I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to add a trigger. And I'm just going to call it a uh, patrol trigger. And make sure that you remember how it's spelled um, so that <clears throat> you'll know like uh, you know how to use it later into the script. So make sure that this is uh, something that you memorize. So patrol uh, trigger is what I'm going to add as a trigger. I'm going to click on the condition here and add patrol trigger. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's see. Do I have to click on has exit timer or not? Let's see. I don't think we do. So it should have an exit time and then come back to idle. So let's go ahead and we'll leave it like this for now and then we'll check it later. Okay. So over here, it should, Peter should be idle. And then it's going to transition from Peter patrolling to stop Peter patrolling into idle. So it looks good. So now let's go ahead and go back to our scene here. And if you hit play now, you can actually trigger the animator. So I'm going to kind of drag this animator over here so you guys can see it. So I'm in game right now. And if I click on this little thing, he should patrol. Okay, so that pretty much shows that my animation has worked. Now the only thing is how to trigger this thing. So let's say that we have an object. I'm gonna go ahead and click and add a game object right now. And it's gonna be the apple. And the apple should have a collider here. And the collider is a trigger. So all we have to do now is click on add component. And you can use any box collider as well. But we're gonna go ahead and add in my script. So I'm gonna to go to the my scripts folder. I'm gonna right click and import new asset. I'm gonna import the my uh, event trigger on enter. Now, if this is not the first time you have downloaded this file, I'll have a, um, a name that's not proper because scripts have to be exact with their names. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename it by removing the parentheses too. And now your script should work, okay? Now, once the script works, um, you can hit play. Just make sure that your game runs. Okay, my game still runs. I'm gonna go to the Apple, and I'm gonna. You can either drag the script into here, or you can just simply click the Add button here, and just type in my event. Okay, so now if you touch this Apple, it is going to trigger my script, and my script is going to trigger the animation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the plus sign here and it's gonna ask me what do I want to trigger when I touch the collider of this apple. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the animation on Peter. So I'm gonna grab Peter into this uh, box here. So that means my trigger is gonna trigger something on Peter. What am I gonna trigger? I'm gonna trigger the animator and I'm going to set a trigger using a string, okay? And that's where I told you guys you have to make sure that this is um, the correct name. And this one was called the patrol trigger. So basically, touching this apple is the same as clicking uh, the animator. So let's go and hit enter. And let's go ahead and take a look at Peter when we hit play. So now I'm hitting play. I'm going to hit the patrol Peter to make sure that that's still working. <clears throat> And we can see that Peter does patrol. And now I can go ahead and touch the apple. And Peter patrols. And that's it, folks. want to give you guys the ability <clears throat> to play animations and trigger these type of events. And I'll see you guys next video.